I'm going to share an example of using bro logs to add context to a kind of standard incident response investigation. And this kind of hits at one of kind of the, the exciting but frustrating things about tools like bro. They promise to bring a lot of context, in this case for network data, but with all of the different data sources, it's actually hard to use in a practical day-to-day -day workflow. And so this is kind of a nice example of, of making that easy. So uh, to ground this investigation, we're looking at a pretty common scenario of, let's say someone's picking up an incident in Splunk where there's uh, um, some sort of uh, malicious activity. In this case, we're using Bro to identify cases where people thought they're downloading uh, pictures and, and media files, but in reality, they were downloading executables. And so let's pick up one of those. So normally we'd have to kind of jump around different tools or do a lot of log search to actually really understand what's going on with one of these tickets. So let's take a look at this IP address talk, going to this website and see what, what if we can make that easier using Bro and Graphistry. So we're going to uh, open it up. Uh, that's kind of a deep link into a pre-built Graphistry template that an assist, like a Splunk admin could have set up ahead of time. Um, so the left pane is just a bunch of Splunk queries. And we're actually going to mix in uh, looking at different Bro indices in Splunk and actually also calling out to other systems, in this case, virus total. Um, all we got to do, um, you know, we could always customize it, pick a different visual default visualization. I want more fidelity, so I'm not going to group the, the data ahead of time. And then all, uh, all I do is I just basically hit the, um, the run button. That's going to start discharging a bunch of uh, queries. Um, when I click that link in Splunk, it already pre-filled a lot of investigation parameters for me. So in this case, we're looking at that mybusiness.com, which was sending us these malicious files or potentially malicious files and some internal IPs that we can base off of. And on the right, we see that the, um, it, the data basically loaded in. Um, I actually just want to focus on the first two steps initially. Um, and what we see on the first two steps uh, of, of the results that came in um, are basically, and let's run that to make it a little clearer. Um, what we see is that internally, we had that one device we were looking at. Um, we actually had uh, uh, a few external IPs that were hosting that uh, mybusiness.com. We saw that, uh, um, and these are the kind of the, the files that were kind of flagged as potentially uh, uh, malicious. Uh, we can do a few things in a template that normally you'd have to do manually. So for example, we can ask, um, uh, was this IP address uh, downloading files from, uh, executables from other websites and conversely, um, where we were other devices internally getting downloading from these. So was this a broader incident um, or is it just these two guys? And so I'm going to um, uncomment uh, a bunch of uh, uh, these other steps here. And one more, we, we did actually one more thing here. Remember, we were talking about using virus total to uh, enrich these. And so we, we, that ran on the fly. And um, when we did virus total near the end here, we basically ran it on anything and everything that we could. Um, and so what we see in this case, for example, is uh, uh, for every the file hash that we that that kind of bro gave us, we ran virus total, and whenever it had a, kind of a non-trivial amount of hits, we see on this ring here, like for all of these file hashes, like for example, uh, this guy right here, 68 folks scanned it, and 20 of those kind of reported hits. So that's probably not so good. Likewise, if you look at like the IPs or the domains, what we're seeing is um, for this uh, IP over here. Uh, it, it, it's uh, connected to some virus total uh, uh, reports here, you know, 29 out of 29, not so good. And so clearly uh, we're having some bad downloads here. Um, this is enough that we'd say, hey, from a triage perspective, we'd say this is a, a real incident. Um, we might not know if it escalated or not. And so normally we, we might not want to do that analysis uh, just ahead of time. But once we decide this is worth digging in further, um, we actually have them pre-baked in the template and what we're going to ask is basically, well, normally I wouldn't look at everybody, all the like kind of low priority activity going on on this device. That'd be too much. But because I know now I want to go deeper, I'm going to enable those last two steps. And what that's going to do is um, use Bro to look at for this IP, everybody else this IP has communicated with, and then check it against a virus total. And so we could just run those uh, next two steps. And so... In this case, um, I'm also just, I just filtered to uh, the last two steps here. So I just wanted to see anything unusual that the previous steps did not re uh, reveal. So kind of non-download activity, just anything, any communications with anybody suspicious. And what we see here is um, a few things got flagged. So we saw communications with all these websites and URLs here. 
None of them have virus total hits on them, but this guy over here, 94 whatever, there was a one virus total hit on it. And so if I was gonna kind of focus my search more, it'd be kind of what are, what, what's going on here? So I might, you know, click on it or, you know, uh, jump into virus total from here following the following this link. Um, so I hope, I hope that that's kind of a good, good sense of where traditionally um, I might just have uh, lots of uh, logs that I'm kind of manually looking at. Maybe I'm kind of picking it up with a little bit of enriching, but from there I'm kind of jumping between tools and doing it very manually. Well, in our case, we can actually go all the way to jumping through a template and getting nice like time bars to step through and have this nice visual clustering to actually get more of a sense of what's going on.